All right, this might be a little bit awkward with this camera angle, but this is how I tie a mass cleat using a pipe hitch. I use about nine wraps on it, and it takes a little time to get it right so that it's all firmed up, but once it's on, you can still adjust it, but it doesn't slip. I mean, I'm putting a lot of heat on it. It doesn't move. Um, this is just an old main sheet. The beat up cover makes it a little grippier on the mask. It's just something I had laid, laying around. Um, I don't know, it's probably like seven mil or something, which is overkill. I have a thimble in one end, and then the tail end over here, I leave a little bit long and just put a slip knot in it. I'll show you what we use that for right here. So, grab the halyard, that's standard five mil halyard. Bring it up. Take the end, pull it through, keep the tail out of the way for now. On the top, all I do is put in a slip knot loop. Hang on to that with one hand. Grab this tail. Run it through. Apply tension. You can see nothing's moving. And I take the end of the halyard, run it through the fair lead like usual, around the cleat. A little extra pressure and cleat it off. Make it fast. Now here's where it gets a little bit interesting. It's got this tail right here. What I do, pull it forward, back through the fair lead. Now this is where the rules don't say you can do this. It doesn't say you can't, but I have no idea if it's legal. So we're going to use this tail as a vang, push it through again, have this little slip knot loop right here, apply pressure. Once it's on, it's not going anywhere. Once. Twice. Pull it down. It's not going anywhere. To make sure, pull the tail through. Boom. Done. And that's how I do it. I've been sailing it this way for like six months and club sailing races. Um, it's worked great. So that's all there is to it. Hope it helps.